a blip, if you, if you sliced a knockwurst longitudinally, that would give you a blip shape. So is it right about there? Okay, we've got a hand here. Blips were born in California in the winter of 67-68. Uh, he discovered the blips when he was teaching at UC Davis. He was doodling making cats, drawings of cats, and that this, this sort of discursive mark seemed to live very nicely on the page, that you could see that this thing you were observing really had no merits unto itself, but that you would notice the context, the world around it, that it would provide a focal point on the real world. I was shocked at the, at the uh, effect that it had. I would take one of these lovely, huge, blank, white walls and put one right in the middle of it. Well, it will control the wall, very much the way a dot on a piece of typing paper. The same strategy. Clearly, he's a form formally committed to making paintings and sculptures throughout his life, but the blip really was the sort of conceptual high note in terms of making something that was nothing more than a signal for you to see other things. 